Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, I'm here with the next... I'm going to play two of the next three games. The third game, I'm going to quick sim, but the, it's a series against Detroit. We have three against Detroit. And this is the first time we've played Detroit in the season. So, I will televise these first two games. Then I'm going to quick play the last game against Detroit. And then it'll be on to Kansas City. And the next one that you will see, the next games that you will see, will be us against Kansas City. And I will just update you on what happened in the third game against Detroit. So we are visiting, and you can see we're at Detroit, the uh, old Tiger Stadium. And we'll get underway here with Eddie Yost, who's back off the injury list. And he hits a fly ball. So that's a fly ball out for Eddie Yost, just up on DL. Or the DI, or whatever they call it. I don't know what they call it now. So that brings up Pete Runnels. And Pete Runnels is going to ground out. We're facing Billy Heft. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Not sure. And that brings up Mickey Vernon. Mickey Vernon ripping a single. And the reason I'm not going to televise all three games is because all three games together in one video would be an hour over an hour long or about an hour long video. And I don't, I try not to do those. Um, my football videos approach an hour, but it's only one game. And so to get one game in at all, I, it has to be 45 minutes to an hour. But I try not to have hour long videos. Um, so we've got Earl Torgerson facing Chuck Stobbs. My man, Chuck Stobbs. And that's going to be a ground ball to El Viso. And uh, he, he, yeah, he misplayed that one. So uh, Torgerson's aboard, 90% base stealer. I'm going to, let's see if I'm already watching him. I don't know. Yeah, I was already watching him. So that's with a watch. And he drops all the way down to 10%. Try, But it doesn't matter because Harvey Keen gets a single, rips a single. So runners at first and second. No outs yet. Stobbs in trouble. And that's a line out, thankfully. Because that was a single one to seven. But thankfully, it's a line out to Valdiviso, and there's one down. And that brings up Ray Boone. Ray Boone is going to hit a home run, looks like. That's a three run shot, and already Stobbs is in real trouble. Oh, boy. Chuck Stobbs, my man. All right, Bill Tuttle is up. And Bill Tuttle's going to hit a ground ball to shortstop. And that's an out. And then that brings up Frank House. Frank is in the house, and he gets hit by a pitch. Stobbs having all kinds of issues here in the first inning. And Delsing comes up. Jim Delsing hits a ground ball back to Stobbs. He's a one. So he does play the ball, thankfully. But we're down 3 nothing going to the top of the second. Carlos Paula up, up and Carlos Paula is going to hit a single. I was hoping for that double, but got a single off heft. And that brings up Umflit. And Umflit's going to hit a single. The weak hitting. Tom Umflit. And uh, I am going to... Uh, I'm going to... I'm just going to hold the runners, because we need runs. We pitch her up next, I believe. Oh, boy. Fitzgerald hits into a ground. I was going to say, with the pitcher up next, I need to try to hit. With Fitzgerald, but he just blows it. And, oh, no, Valdiviso is up next. Eh, maybe I should have. But he's going to hit a ground ball to the shortstop unless Keen throws this up into the upper deck. Oh, he did. All right, so we got to run out of that. Let's go to Stobbs. Stobbs hitting away. Hit. Whoa, Stobbs. Stobbs help us cause off heft. 
So he knocks in a run, and now it's 3-2, and we're right back in this game. We got more stuff at the plate. And he pops out. There's a good hitter. Come, we get to the good hitter, and he gets out. But we made the score 3-2, which is nice. If Stobbs could actually calm down now. And he does get a line out now by Fred Hatfield. Billy Haft is up, and Billy Haft is going to be out. Nice, nice, nice to see. So Stobbs with hopefully a nice clean inning here. Earl Torgerson, and he grounds out, and Stobbs gets a clean inning. And now we go to the top of the third, only losing by a run. And that brings up Runnels, and Runnels is going to fly out. We got these good guys at the top of the lineup, get nothing, but the bottom of the lineup was killing the left. Mickey Vernon, Mickey Vernon ripping a single, and I think he's two for two. Yes, he is, he is two for two on the day. Roy Seavers is up, and Roy Seavers is popping out, and it's going to be second out. All these good hitters. I mean, we can't afford for the good hitters, and they're not going to be good. Carlos Paula up. And Carlos Paula is going to hit a two-run home run with the second head. Unbelievable. Nice. So we're ahead now. 4-3, and Umflit up. And Umflit hits a fly ball to Tuttle in center, and maybe he can get it by Tuttle. He can't. All right. So Harvey Keen up against Stobbs. Now Stobbs has a lead. He needs to calm down. And he, and he starts out by not calming down and giving up a single to Keen. LK line up. And uh, Keen drops down to a 10% stealing. And then K line strikes out. Nice. Needed that. Detroit was not a bad team either. They were like a middle of the road team, but they weren't bad. bad. Ray Boone. Ray Boone is going to hit a double. Maybe Keen is going to even score on it. So this is not a pitcher's duel. I'm going to throw for the lead runner. Let's try it. And it did not work. So it is 4-4. Four, four. And then that's a foul out to the catcher by title. And then Frank House is up. And Frank House is going to hit a single. Don't need to see that. Runners at the corners and Delsing up, and he strikes out. So we're in a tie game now in the top of the fourth. Fitzgerald against the main man, no. But let's see. Maybe he gets it just barely over the wall past Delsing. I don't know. I mean, I'm hoping for that. No, he caught it, so no home run. Valdivizo is up, and he's going to hit the ground ball to short that Keen. And there's an error by Keen, so Stobbs is up, and he's one for one. I'm going to let him hit. And he's two for two, and he rolled the same thing he rolled the last time. Um, I'm going to send the runner, too. And now we got runners at the corners with one away when Yost up the plate. And he hits a ground ball B to third base. Did they have the infield in? I'm going to try to advance. And it worked. We're ahead 5-4. Runnels up. Little uh, aggressive base running, race run calling by me. Put us ahead. But, of course, we got Stobbs on the mound. So, so let's not count on that lasting very long. There's a single by Hatfield. Heft up, and Heft is probably going to spawn. And they and he strikes out. Good. Earl Torgerson's up. Torgerson, ground ball to Valdeby. It looks like. Let's make that play. Double play. Thank you. So Heft goes back out to the mound for Detroit, and Mickey Vernon faces him. He's two for two on the day, and he gets out here. Strikeout. So 
Seavers eases up. Seavers is going to ground out. And that brings up our main man, Carlos Paulo, who strikes out. It was two for two until that late. So, Stobbs facing Keane, who's two for two with a home run, and he's out. No, two for two with two runs scored. So, but he's out on this. K-Line up. K-Line is going to ground out. And that brings up Ray Boone, who's two for two with a home run and now a double. Ray Boone is just killing us. And that brings up Bill Tuttle. And Bill Tuttle's going to line out to third. So the Detroit threat is ended. We go to the top of the sixth. Up, up. He's going to strike out. Fitzgerald's up. And he's going to pop out. And with two outs, I mean, if we had started something here. Oh, wait, Valdeviso. Valdeviso strikes out. Okay, so I don't even have a decision on Dodds. I'm going to send him back out to the mound. And then he'll be the leadoff batter the next inning. And if he can get through this inning, we're in business. Okay, House is out. And then Delsing's up. And Delsing. Looks like he could be out yeah, because we got Yost over there. And he's out. And that brings up Fred Hatfield. And Fred Hatfield's going to be out. And Sobs doesn't lead off the inning. It's going to be perfect. All right. So let's go to Visitor. Let's move the uh, thing out of the way of my face. We got a lefty on the mound, so you want a right-handed hitter. Um, what about Snyder? He hasn't played at all. He's a righty, though, who's a 2R, so you don't want him up. Dallas is a righty who's even, but he hit 189. I think I'm going to go with my man, uh, Bruce Edwards. Oh, wait a minute. This is the guy that gets on by walking all the time. Bruce Edwards leading off and walking. Of course, it's on the pitcher's card, but still. I mean, that's what he does. Eddie Yost is up. And Eddie Yost is hit by a pitch. We got the first two guys on against Heft. Runnels is not going to let him hit because he's one of our good hitters. And, of course, he hits into a double play. So we got a guy 90 feet away now. And, and Mickey burning up. And he strikes out. Man, what a bad inning. All right. So they're going to tell me I have to replace Stobbs, which I know I do. And we are going to bring in, since we're not really near the end of the game yet, we're going to bring in Abernathy. Against my better judgment, but, you know, what are you going to do? So, Ted Abernathy on to face Heft. They do pinch hit for him. Charlie Maxwell walks. Now, that'll bring up Torgerson. Torgerson's going to hit the ball back to the pitcher. He's 1E11. That's not too bad. All right, twin killing. Nice. And Keen is up. And Keen is out. So we come out of the seventh, still leading 5 4. Sears is up at the plate. And he's going to hit a ground ball to the ground at the second baseman. That's Hatfield.
And that's an out. Carlos Paula. Carlos Paula striking out. Jim Bunny is on the pitch for Detroit. Right? And Umflit up at the plate, and he's grounded out. Going to keep... Uh, Going to keep the man out there for right now, but there's a single by K-Line. Really can't, you know, blame him for that. But Boone hits into a ground ball double play. Abernathy's best friend, or any pitcher's best friend. And Tuttle is up, and Tuttle's going to hit a single. That brings up Frank House. Frank House hits a single. All right, right. I'm gonna one more batter. I mean, you one more batter, and you and you blew it. So uh, Delsing gets a single, or will get a single. The bases are loaded. I'm going to the pen. And we are going to bring in Jacalees. Was really hoping Abernathy could get us through the eighth, but he couldn't. And they're going to bring in Reno Batois to pinch hit. And he singles to center field. And that might score two runs. It doesn't, though. But they have Bunning up. They did tie the game, though. So Harry Melmberg is going to line out. But they tied the game. And now I don't have a long reliever either because Abernathy was it. So we need to tie this thing up. And Fitzgerald might be leading off with a single. And he is, actually. And Valdez goes up. Valdevizo's going to line out. Jaylees, I got a lot hit because he's a good pitcher, and he just came in. So he's still got something in the tank. So we just got to hope Detroit doesn't win it here in the ninth. Now Earl Torgerson's going to pop up to second. Harvey Keen is up. Harvey Keen's going to ground out. To shortstop Valdivizo. And K-Line is up. And K-Line's going to walk. And that brings up Ray Boom. Well, we're going to throw just in case we get him and we did. All right, so now we got Eddie Yost up at the plate. 0 for 3 on the day, coming back off the DL. He hit the ball to all right, but that's K-Line. So that's going to be an out, you got to believe. He dropped it. K-Line dropped it. All right, well, Runnels, well, you got to believe Runnels Runnel doesn't bunt well. So Buddy hits a single. I'm going to hold the runners. I don't even care what the stats on it are. Vernon are up, and Vernon is going to hit a ground ball, or a fly, a, well, it said it was a fly ball B, but. All right, so, one out, runner still at the corner for Seaver. Seaver strikes out. Oh, come on. Carlos Paul up, and he hits a fly to left. Delbles is in two. See if we can get it in front of him. And he can. So I got to send Kaylee's out there at least what this one more time and hope he's got a inning. But that looks like it's going to get by Runnels. No, he got him. Tuttle's up. Tuttle walks. Porter is up. Jay Porter, gonna throw. Don't get him. And he goes to third. So the infield is gonna be in, and catcher card X, and that's probably gonna score the run. 
that they need to win the game. All right. Not a good game for us. Stobbs went six, gave up seven hits, three earned runs. And uh, Abernathy went one and two thirds, gave up four hits and one earned run. And Chikales went one and two thirds, gave up one hit, no earned runs. But we lost. So now we go to the next game, and this is going to be Mickey McDermott against Steve Gromick. And, uh, yeah, everything, I guess, checks out. There's the stats for the day. The stats for the, uh, you know. Oh, it's a day game. Day game in Detroit, Tiger Stadium, old Tiger Stadium. Eddie Young shows up. Or Vets is up. Or Vets is going to be out. Line out. And Ronald Rose is up to plate and he strikes out. And Mickey McDermott pitch to Earl Torgerson. Ferguson grounds out. Harvey Keen is up. And he's going to fly out. That's two down in the first. McDermott with a nice start here. And Al Kline is going to strike out. So, so Mickey Vernon is up. And he walks. Nice. We needed to get the first guy on and hopefully get something going against Gromick. Seavers is up. Roy Seavers is going to hit a, it's going to get a catcher card. Oh, and Carlos Paul up at the plate. Strikes out. And Valdivizo. And Valdivizo pops out. That brings up Ray Boone. Bottom of the third, is this? No, bottom of the second. Bill Tuttle. Bill Tuttle walks. Frank House is up. And he walks. So... McDermott, after the first out, puts two men on at first and second with Jim Delsing up, and he walks. So Mickey McDermott basically gets first out, and then he walks the next three guys in that field up at the plate. But he hits a ground ball second base. And that is that for the second. We go to the top of the third. Bruce Edwards, our walking man, and he walks. Mickey McDermott up, and he strikes out. Eddie Yost. Eddie Yost walks. We got two on with only one out here in the third inning. Horvath's up at the plate, and he singles. That might not knock and run because Bruce Edwards is a nine runner. But it did. He scored anyway. Runnels is up at the plate, and he hits a, a ground ball off to uh, ground ball B. So what's going to happen there? Another run? Yes, indeed. And Mickey Vernon. And Mickey Vernon's out. But we do get two runs there in the third. And Mickey McDermott back out to the mound. Pitching well. Gets Gromit to ground out. Horgerson. Earl Torgerson is going to hit a double. Double into the gap. Over Oravets's head. Harvey Keen is at the plate, and he is going to strike out. 
And that brings up L K line. Big L K line flies out. And that brings up Roy Sievers to the plate. And Roy Sievers hits a ground ball to the short Keen, let's see if Keen can misplay this. And it's a single. Carlos Paula. Carlos Paula. No, he's going to line out. So there's going to be one down. Man on first. With Valdezzo up at the plate, and he grounds to the pitcher, but the pitcher is four. So something good could happen here. But it doesn't. It was in time, and Bruce Edwards, the walking man, is going to line out. So Ray Boone facing Mickey McDermott to lead off the bottom of the fourth for Detroit, and he strikes out. Bill Tuttle Mickey McDermott pitching a great game here. Ground ball is going to be the Yost. He's a one. Ah, he got an error, though. Frank House up, and he pops out to second. And that brings up Delzing. And Delzing is going to foul out to the catcher. So, yeah, Mickey McDermott pitching great. And here he is at the plate and grounding out. Eddie Oost is up, and Eddie Oost is going to line out. And Orovets is up, and he's going to hit a catcher card X, and he's out. So back out to the mound is McDermott and our Washington Senators take the field, field and the ground ball by Hatfield to Yost. Let's see if he can manage. No, he made another error. We've had, yes, we've had two errors in this game, and they've both been by Yost. Gromick is going, he pops up trying to bunt. So Torgerson's up, and he's going to fly out. So there's two down. And we really need an outing like this by McDermott. I mean, we absolutely need this kind of an outing from him. Keen is up at the plate, and Keen hits a single double asterisk. Runner at the corners, but there's, oh no, no, he didn't advance to third. So, K-line up, and that's going to be it. I was going to say, and they're two down, so he just had to get K-line, and he did. We go to the top of the sixth. You know, we could. It, it would be nice if we could tack on a couple of insurance runs, or even one. Fly ball by Pete Runnels, though. One away. Um, Mickey Vernon up, and he flies out. And that brings up Roy Sievers. And Roy Sievers is going to fly out. We go to the bottom of the sixth. That's a triple one to three double for Ray Boone. That's a double into the gap. Tuttle up. Tuttle is going to ground out to short. And Boone stays his X, and so Frank House is up, and he's hit by a pitch. Delzing is up, and Delzing is going to hit a single. God dang it. It was the only thing in the column, and he got a single out of it. Hatfield is up, and he's going to pop out. Nice. All right, so, I mean, hey, same situation. We're, there's two down, so if you can get the next batter, you're in business, and that's Gromick, and they're going to pinch hit for Gromick with uh, uh, Jack Phillips, and Jack Phillips lines out, so yes, that was a fruitless at-bat for them, and they have to take Gromick out of the game.
who was holding us to two runs and only two hits. So they bring in Paul Foytak to face Carlos Paula, and he walks. Valdivizo is up, and Valdivizo walks. And that brings up Edwards, and Edwards always walks, so I'm going to, yeah, and exactly, that's what he does. And I'm even going to let McDermott hit now because I don't, I mean, the only sacrifice is like a squeeze, and I'm not going to squeeze. That's crazy. So McDermott strikes out, there's one out. Okay, great. That brings up Yost. Come on, Yost. No, he strikes out. He's been useless ever since he's coming off the DL. Oravets is up. And Oravets is out. So we had a real rally going. But we're still winning to nothing because McDermott, who blew it for us at the plate, is still pitching really great. And that's going to be a single, though, for Earl Torres. Harvey Keene up. That's going to be a fly ball. They are getting, they're just, just missing hits in key situations on the cards. Kalai up at the plate, and he singles. I really don't have a choice but to stick with, I'm going to throw for the lead runner. Did I get him? No. All right. Um, and then he hits a single and ties the game. Right, even does looks like. Um, I'm just going to stop him from advancing. And McDermott's tired, but I got to keep him out up there and see if we can get through the through the inning. That's a pop up by Tuttle. And then Frank goes up, and he hits a single. And that brings up Delzing. And Delzing is going to ground out. And McDermott does get out of the inning. But he allowed the tying run. So Runnels is up at the plate. And he doubles. Nice. Straight up double. double. Just ripping a double. That brings up Mickey Vernon. Mickey Vernon hits a two-run homer. Gotta love that. So we got another two-run lead here. And we still don't have any outs. But now we do. Roy is rounded out. Carlos Paula up. Carlos Paula with a single. So he's one for three on the day with a walk. Valdivizo's up. Valdivizo with a walk. And now the pitcher's up. Mickey McDermott, and that's... Or no, Bruce Edwards is up. And they bring in Bonnie. And he strikes out. There's two down. Actually, I'm going to let McDermott hit. Just because I don't have great hitters on this team. And he lines out. So we are going to take McDermott out of the game. Now I'm going to start off letting him pitch. That's a pop out for Fred. Of course, he's probably out there like, you know, begging for death right now. But he's a good pitcher. And even with, you know, the... Um, the single double asterisk, the automatic single double asterisk on, on house. He might still be better than what I got in the bullpen. All right, now now we're taking it. I'm going to try to stop the lead runner, and it doesn't work. All right, we are going to go get him. Uh, let's see here. Gonna bring in this Stewart guy. I don't think he's pitched yet. He hasn't. Two 
Keen is up, and he's going to hit a ground ball, which will let a run score, I think. And it does, but there's two out, and we're still ahead by a run. And that's a strikeout. So, Bunky Stewart gets us out of the inning, and that brings up Yost, who walks. Finally, he decides to get on base for us. Oravets up. Oravets hits a ground ball to short short out. That's Keen. He's a three. Safe. Nice. Runnels up, and they're going to take Bunning out and bring in Babe Beerer. And he hits a ground ball to the second base and into a double play. That's two down with a run now 90 feet away and Mickey burning up and he pitches to him and he strikes out. So we've got to just get us out of this inning. And then we win the game 4-3. Ray Boone, two for four. He flies out. Bill Tuttle up. He strikes out. Nice. We're that close. We're that close. And Frank House. And Frank House is out, and we win the game 4-3. So we do take the middle game of the series. And as I say, when the next video you see will be us playing Kansas City, but we will have played Detroit in the third uh, game of this series, and I will let you know what happened in that. But, yeah, McDermott getting the win, pitching on fumes at times, but getting the win, and then the save going to Bunky Stewart. So that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.